Hello everyone and welcome to episode 20 of my B2B series. Today is all about This Is Us and this was really good. I loved this album, every second of it. Um, first of all, we got subunits, which made me super happy because um, I got to hear more from some of the members that I don't necessarily pay attention to as much as I do, Peño and um Nguang, but i love the fact that this time around we got those subunits so that was one of the things that i really enjoy about this album the other thing it's b2b so vocals every time i'm going to review a b2b album i have to mention the vocals because they are insane insane and this album is no different um once again right now they are in this whole vibe with like a very balanced album in terms of vocals and rapping and that was the case in this album if you have like a great powerful vocal moment be sure that right after that you get amazing um rapping and vice versa i really enjoy um the music it's good i loved just the different songs and it was definitely the very diverse in terms of mood and vibe and just genre and i really just i was having a great time that's that's the simplest way i can put it this was a great time and I feel like the songs were so interesting, but still unique, each and every one of them. And just the contrast between what the rap line went for in terms of their song and what the vocal line went for, it was just so interesting to listen to. I loved just being able to have an album where I feel like everybody is being heard and especially with subunits it really just gives you um another opportunity to really listen to B2B which sounds ridiculous when I say this like this because technically it's their album but in when it comes to group music Sometimes, and it's completely natural, you know, sometimes you gravitate towards a certain member or because this is a group, the music that they will make will be more of a compromise of what everybody like instead of like a reflection of what exactly everyone taste is. But with subunits and solo, what this does is just give you a glimpse on where every member is in terms of music their preferred genre their style of music and all of that and just how different combination of members can give you different style of music different emotion and just a different vibe all together which is why i love when in a group album we have like group songs sub unit songs sub and solo songs because it just changed things up and also gives you an opportunity to just see this other side of the members i always say that i feel like Members of the group really only show up to 10% of their potential in the group music. It's only when they go on to do subunit and solo that we can truly get um, a true sense of their artistry. So I really love the fact that we got subunit this time around. Now, when it comes to my personal favorites, I have two of them in this album. Number two is Icebreaker. You gon' be my lawyer, Joe Don't tell your friends, no You're just a nagin top secret, bro Don't ask him, I go Come on the dance floor I'm on my boat, go get icebreaker, whoa Uh, drag it, hop on, just so you get your butt Uh, baba, I know you feeling it too right Uh, you're getting down there, no, 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 no Yeah, alright, just a no, 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 no I'm 
함께 감사해 운전해 오랜 유전자 계열 끌리 bro fly up the sky 이건 비밀로 해줘 Tell your friends no 여기서 한 얘긴 top secret wow 걱정하지 말고 come on the dance floor 한번 맛보고 가 ice breaker wow so what 눈치 보지 마 하나 더 so hot let's just kiss and hug 욕할 사람은 욕하고 신경 쓰지 않는 부분 wake up wake up 가지마 just stay I'm not looking at you but I wanna see ya 후할 거야 내 잘못을 때로 치면 난한 번푹 빠지면 쉽게 안 질려 Just like just like I don't I don't Girl I'm not just I don't My girl 뭘 모르는 애들은 항상 말만 많아 Hey 내말 맞잖아 누구도 못해 나처럼 Right 검은색 차 타고 Right 이렇게 빠져 온 것만 Yeah 이건 비밀로 해줘 Don't tell your friends no 여기서 한 얘긴 top secret Wow 걱정하지 말고 Come on the dance floor 한 번만 보고 가 Ice breaker Wow So what 눈치 보지 마 하나 더 So hot Let's just kiss and hug 욕할 사람은 욕하고 신경 쓰지 않는 부분 Wake up Wake up Wow 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 I stayed up what? Don't really know what the date is up Does it really matter though? Nah does it really matter cause Hey, either way, we gonna play, we gonna party, we gonna sway. Open my eyes and it's 5 a.m. Hold up, read that wrong. It's p.m. Repeat that once again. Yeah, call them girls again. Yeah, play until the a.m. Wake up in the p.m. Yeah, yeah. Hey, friends always be asking me, can you play like this, man? You an idol, boy. Hey, so what if I smoke? So what if I drink? So what if I play with girls, man? It's my life. I'll do what I want. Hey, just gonna hate. Either way, you know what I'm saying. If you don't, you probably wanna them. So get up on my way. Yeah, get, get, get. H hold on, is this song fading already? Oh man, I was about to go in on this first. I was about to spit some. And this was my favorite song. First of all, what the hell, Daniel? <laughs> the lyrics. Oh my God! Like when I heard this song for the first time. I was just like, oh my God, it did not just say that. Is it what if I smoke? What if I drink? What if I play with girls? But what if I do all those things? Oh, I adore the song. And, you know, it's moments like this that remind me just why I am as obsessed with Peniel as I am. Because he is amazing. I love his role. I love his charisma. And it's just like, the cutest charismatic rapper ever. I just love this is softness about him, but at the same time also really hard. And I just love Peniel to be honest. That's that's what it boils down to. And from the very beginning, I've been very open about my bias when it comes to Peniel. I see Peniel on the song, I'm happy. I hear his voice, I'm happy. As soon as he opened the the song, you know I'm going to love this song. I just love it. And this might even be one of my favorite Peniel verse ever. I just love everything about it. But another song, another thing I also love about this song is I got the opportunity to hear Minyak. You know, Minyak is one of the members that I tend to overlook a lot when it comes to B2B. And with this subunit, I was just so happy to have an opportunity to listen to him. And I really like that. This is such an amazing song. And the way it ends, <laughs> it literally asks, oh, is the song over already? Oh, how can you not love this man? I don't know. But this is an amazing song. I wish it was longer. I didn't want it to end because it was just great, a great time. Now, the best song on this album is Call Me.
I'm in the way it's on. I can do anything, anytime, anywhere. Love affair, love affair, love affair. I'm in love. No, I'm not from any kind of situation. 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 Oh, I wanna be your Batman. No, we up, pan and go down, shed. No matter we hang on, song you roll. 사랑을 주게 나도 다 몰라 정답. Let me say, oh, 너와 같은 마음이라면 다 내줄라도 너와 함께 있는 시간이고 싶어. 그 꿈을 지킬 수 있다면 나를 밟고 날아가도 좋아. I do anything for. So serious, serious, no. 더 특별한 사랑 어디 있다는 건지 너만이 날 call me. Let me say oh, oh. 나와 같은 날이라면 단히 주라도 너와 함께 있는 시간이고 싶어. 그 꿈을 지킬 수 있다면 나를 밟고 날아가도 좋아. I do anything for ya. That was the best song on this album. I uh, just love the song so much. Vocals, rapping, everything just came together to give us a masterpiece. I love the melody, and this is just a vibe. You know, it's definitely the type of song that you just want to enjoy. It starts playing, and suddenly nothing else exists. Like it's one of the stars of my just chilling playlist lately. I really enjoy it. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up being your favorite. If you want more, check out B2B Dedicated Playlist on the channel. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.